Hello, my name is Nal Zafnad. I'm a current student at NEA New England. My GPA is well over 99%. I served as a student council president, and now I am also an airframe certified mechanic. Originally, I felt discouraged to make this video because I wanted to get 100 on my exam, but I felt a little short. But I still learned a lot, so I wanted to be sharing that with you all today. Most of the study technique and resources I use are the same as when I studied for my general. So you can just click the general video I've already made if you'd like to know the specifics. All right, so lesson number one, don't overstudy is not what I'm gonna tell you to do. Um, if you feel weak in any subject at all, I would encourage you to dive into that further because it's more likely for you to see it if you feel weak in it. I think it's always important to remember, it's better to know it and not need it than to need it and not know it. So just keep that in your mind when you're studying. What I will say though, which I wish I was told, don't move forward into studying new content until you fully retain the information that you've been studying. Every single question that I received on my airframe written exam, I had seen before. And that's why I felt so discouraged to make this video because I felt like I definitely could have gotten 100 on that exam. Um, but I was overwhelming myself with more and more information because in the general, there was a lot of broad information and I thought the airframe was going to be similar, but the airframe was more specific and I wish I hunkered down to make sure I really understand the concepts and the material instead of uh, trying to find more questions that I could learn. My study tip for you um, to make sure you're retaining that information, try to learn as if you're about to teach someone else. Because if you're learning to teach someone else, you're making sure that you're understanding it in a way that you could tell someone. So you're just doing that further mile to make sure you're really retaining that information. My second tip for you is the importance of prepware. Prepware is more accurate than airmantest.com. In my general video, I was talking about how great airmantest.com, which is a free resource to study. And I still stand by how good um, airmantest.com is. But the thing is, Prepware is made by ASA. And ASA has been making study material for the FAA for 60 plus years. So their, their information for their study material is pretty accurate to the FAA exams. And they regularly update their study material so it reflects the FAA exams. So I would recommend you, if you're gonna use Airman Test, do Prepware as well. Um, because the vocabulary in Prepware is very, very spot on to what I experienced in my um, written exams. My last tip is kind of obvious, um, but it's not to cram. I think my prestigious, prestigious grades have gotten the best of me. And, um, you know, I'll get 100 every exam, but that doesn't reflect what my federal exam will be. Because your school exams don't really dictate what your federal exam will be. Um, so yeah, I would tell you not to cram. I'm super proud that my brain can remember lots of information in a short period of time. But at the end of the day, that's not gonna help me in the long term. So what I'm doing now for my power plan exam, I'm stretching out my study sessions so that I have more time to retain this information and learn it and process it. So I encourage you all to invest in yourself and schedule out your study. That's just a couple things that I reflected on from my airframe written exam. Again, most of my technique and resources I use are the same as the general. Um, so you can click on that video of me talking about how I study for my general. Uh, but moving forward, you know, good luck to you all in your studying. And let me know if you want me to talk about my orals and practical experience, how I studied or how it went. Um, I'm here to do that for you. All right, happy studying.